welcome back. I'm John Zadar and this is On Top and Hot Part 2. <laughs> We're giving this short video format a try. We're still looking at hot OTC and penny stocks under 5 bucks that have potential to make us money. We're just doing one stock per video now. And I've got one we've talked about numerous times, but we need to look at it now because of the chart. The chart is a perfect setup. The last time we looked at it, it was a 50-50 chance of what it was going to do. Right now, I'm saying it's a 95% chance of what it's going to do. Shot, Safety Shot Inc., she finished the day at $3.14, and she was up almost 10% today. She is a hot penny stock on the major exchange. You get benefits with penny stocks on the major exchange, like being able to trade them for free. The OTC charges you to get in, charges you to get out. You also can trade pre-market, after-market. Lots of activity there, lots of money to be made, and you don't need any special permissions or qualifications to trade pre-market, after-market. Just get in there and trade. What you got to remember, and a lot of people forget, it's not a day trade. It's an extended period trade. And depending how your platform is set up, you may have to put day plus extension or good till canceled plus extension. Or maybe it says pre-market, after-market. But you got to get it in there or your order just won't be seen. So what is SHOT about? Come on, you know what SHOT is about. They got a drink, like those little five-hour drinks, except this one is to help you feel, <laughs> I don't know, more sober, less hungover. I'm not quite sure. It's supposed to lower your blood sugar of your alcohol content and make you feel better in 30 minutes. Now, I'm not sure if this is for when you're drunk right now i've been drinking today i need to be more sober or if you wake up with a hangover and you drink it they never mention hangover recovery they just talk about it lowering your blood sugar and it's been a very hot product the company just came on the market i think it was july of last year so most of the financials have nothing to do with them but they got their product it's on the market on their website and also on amazon and every time they put it up they sell out which begs the question, where's the rest of your stock? What's up with production? Why are you running out? You know how much money they're losing? If you sold everything today but can't sell any more tomorrow, how much money are you probably losing tomorrow? You're losing money. Even though you're not putting anything out, you're not bringing anything in. So I'm asking questions like, how many facilities do you have? How much can you produce? How long does it take to produce that? Because every time they put it out, it sells out. Well, that's great, but I want to see that continue day after day. So we've got some hot news that has just come out here, and it's very interesting because there's been a lot of companies that have hired legal teams to help them find the wrongful shorters, whether they be uh, naked shorters or shorters that are... Uh, putting lies out to bring the price down. And, and it's great to see that. They are actively wanting to pursue shareholder value, if you will, protect it, like a good shepherd would. The problem is every single one of those companies have not had anything to say since they hired their legal teams. Shot has got something to say. They have got lawsuits on the books. They have the accusations down to who, when, where and even the why, and they tell us in the news press. So what was the relative volume around shot today? It looks like they're doing exactly the monthly average, 2.7 million, though they're up about 25,000 extra shares today. Holding her own, she is. Taking a look at that share structure, that's not bad. We've only got about 40 million outstanding. I don't know what the float is, but I know it's never higher than the outstanding share count. And $40 million in a float is really good. Market cap for the company, we're about $114 million. Financials for shot. Well, remember now, the company just came on the market July of 2023. So none of these financials are theirs. Looking at the quarterly, well, there's June, so none of these. This is the only one that's theirs. So they got $11,000 revenue. It's not $11. We got to add three zeros to any of the numbers on any of these charts. So it was $11,000. And I don't know if it was the whole three months they were generating revenues or if it was the last two weeks. It's just that quarter. 
I do know that they lost money doing it, about $34,000. Ouch. Taking a look at that balance sheet, we'll look at this last one here. Well, they got money in the bank, about $4.3 million. Assets, a lot of assets for a new company, $11.3 million. And not a lot, a lot of liabilities, $4.6 million which means we do have positive stockholder equity in this company of 6.7 million. Yes, I don't like holding bags as it is. Looking at the disclosures, uh, we do have a disclosure here in 8K, uh, but you're gonna find that that relates to the news and it's just easier to read in the news. So we've got two pieces of news I've zoomed in on. We're not gonna jump around all these pages and waste time. And I've zoomed in on the facts of these matters so that you can see what's going on. Safety Shot responds to FSD Pharma's third unauthorized tagging of its stock and making false claims in an effort to harm the company and its shareholders. Now, this is their point, bulleted. Safety Shot is not GBB Drink Lab and never acquired GBB as falsely claimed by FSD Pharma. Only the safety shot beverage asset was acquired from GBB Drink. The lawsuit that's being mentioned is strictly between FSD Pharma and GBB. Safety shot is not involved. And if we jump over to Huge's page over here and look at their news, you can see a couple headlines here where they mention safety shot being involved in this litigation, just dropping their name in there without knowing any details. Safety Shot only bought an asset from GBB Drink. It's not a subsidiary, they're not in connection, there's no merger, you get my drift. So they're very upset about that. They feel this is hurting the reputation of the company and they are suing the company for that. But a bigger one that they are involved with is this one here, this came out January 16th. Safety Shot authorized to serve notice of action against Capybara Research and Igor Appleboom for public disclosure and press release pursuant to court order. All right, there's a lot of details here, so I'm going to try to put this in a nutshell. The company is suing Capybara Research a firm that Safety Shot alleges was created solely to lend credibility to its malicious and defamatory articles purposely designed to negatively impact the share prices of publicly traded companies in which they hold short positions. So they put out articles saying bad things about companies that they own shorts in. Uh, like a conflict of interest here. Now, let me say this right up front. There's nothing wrong with posting information that's going to hurt a company if it's true. If you can back it up and it's not a lie, you can post, any, post anything you want. And there are shorters out there that hold skeletons in the closet for companies. And when a company starts to climb, they'll short the company and put out the skeleton for everybody to know. And it does bring the price down, but they didn't lie. This company is accusing them of lying. It goes on to say that uh, they do hold short positions in the company and their previously anonymous owner and operator is responsible for publishing the malicious and defamatory articles authored and published on November 22nd, 2023. Real specific, names, dates, which attacked the company and their directors leading to a 37% decline in the company's share price over the course of the day. So they know who exactly published the articles, who the people are, so that we know they own shorts. But more to the point, they, the people who were shorting the company in the article themselves admitted to holding positions. And then it has been proven that they were saying things that weren't true. So they are going after these people right now because they damaged the company, they damaged the reputation, and they damaged shareholder value. And that is a big deal. As I said earlier, there's a lot of companies that are hiring legal teams who are supposed to be pursuing this sort of stuff. This company has just put the meat on the table. They're giving us servings. I like that about this company. But 
that was just what I found when I was looking at the chart. It was the chart, and it really is the chart I'm interested in. But all of this is going on as well. So let's go check out that chart. Over here at Thinkorswim, my free trading platform, I'm looking at SHOT. And of course, we are looking at a six-month, four-hour view. And we have looked at this a couple of times, right? And I put up these blue lines to remind me when we were here. And as you can see, this was roughly a uh, buck 30 and she ran to 750. We caught that at a nice time. This one we caught wrong. And this is what I want to talk about. She has been in an uptrend and she broke out of this channel right here. Now notice when she broke out here, how high she went. Nothing going on while she's in the channel. What happened when she broke out here? Woo, serious launch. She's way up there. Then she's come back down. Now, when we looked at it last, I want to give an explanation here because she fell hard. What she did is she came down on top of this channel and she was bouncing off of that channel and we were looking at that bounce. We couldn't see anything on the other side. Hindsight's always beautiful, isn't it? So we did take a tumble here after we looked at it. I was thinking she was going to bounce, but look above. And I probably mentioned this in the video. That's a lot of strong SMAs coming down on her head here, which could force her down. And it did put her back into the channel, down to the bottom of the channel, back up and a lot of sideways activity. And then right here, when she started to break out over the middle part of the channel, all of our SMAs started to turn as well. Every single SMA is now turning up. She has broke out not only over the center mark, but the top mark, which she hasn't done in a while. Let's back this up. As I said, each time she breaks out, she goes high. Well, here we go. And there's our 200. So we've got a double breakout going on here, right? We've got the 200 day setup. She gets on top of that. People get excited and you get a boost. It's a turbo. And right now she's outside of the channel, which she always runs on. So I really like the chart setup here. Now, what does the volume look like? Volume is steady. Nothing strong, nothing weak. It's steady, which is nice. We can count on that, right? That's what we saw. She's doing her average regularly. Oscillators, looking good. Every single one of them going up nice and steady. And our RSI is in the overbought. Now, don't let people scare you and say, oh, I don't want to get in if it's in the overbought. That means it's going to come down. It's being overbought. Well, that's true, but how long has it been in the overbought? That's two solid days. So it's not like it's going to happen right now. I like to see fire. That's what I look for. It's coming down to our 20-day, one-hour view. So we had a big drop. We looked at it here. She continued that drop. Went right down to the bottom here, smacked it hard, hit a low bubble, bounced, went sideways for quite a few days. Looks like she bounced off her 200 haul. We make mention of this a lot. Penny stocks pay heed to it. If you don't have the 200 H-U-L-L haul on your charts, you may want to start using it. We see a lot of these bounce hard off of the 200. It really is the solid foundation they're getting their launch off of. And we got a good launch here. She went from about, let's call it 220 up to, uh, well, she hit a high of three and a quarter there. So you're looking at 30% gains. Nice run. You can see she's broke out over that channel. All of the SMAs are over the 200. The 200 is not only flat, she's turned up and she's climbing fast. This all looks beautiful. Oscillators look very strong, but there is some weakness here. This aftermarket piddling around here has cooled things off. But even with this saying that things are cooling off, I like it. It looks really hot to me. Like to see somebody fighting for the shareholder. That gets me excited. You know, at the boxing match, you get excited. You actually start yelling. Yeah. So I like this. Low bubble five days ago was just over two bucks when she was underneath every single SMA. Jumped up on top of that 200. Got over that center line of her channel. Negotiated with the 200, got her bearings, and then she just took off here, folks. This was three days ago when she was at 220, and she's been climbing nice. Not a whole lot of volatility. I see some strength in the morning. Yeah, you see this nice runs here in the morning, then she settles down and goes sideways. This came down a little further, but she ended up keeping most of her gains the hard way. And there's really not an opportunity. You could sell up here and buy in here. 
but you really, it's not as far as you think. You'd really have to be scraping profits here. What we've got is a nice steady uptrend. Look at that 200. Easy peasy going up. Our oscillators, they're just changing right now. I like this setup here. It looks like a, a, a bottle. If you lay it on its side where you'd put in the cork, the blue line is just starting to turn up. The red line is just starting to turn down. That tells me it's getting ready to climb. Ooh, look at that hook. After market hour, we do have a climb going on right there. Crossover going on our MACD right now. Crossover on our PPO is imminent and our RSI is climbing. This looks really good to me, folks. Shot is grabbing attention. We do have questions. I have questions I would like answers to about production. But outside of that, I think they've got a hot product. I think it's the only one like it in the world. I think they're going to get people, naysayers, that are going to try to knock them down, challenge them. That just makes them more relevant, doesn't it? So shot right now, I think you need to be looking at ticker SHOT. But of course, do some more research. There's some good information that just came out here recently. You know what I always say? That's right. Who said that? That was perfect. The more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.